all right guys welcome to my channel my name is samantha Izundu. we have a new um take on today's video i did not turn on my microphone Hello. so i'm doing a little voiceover with my two children Hello. here so yeah there you go you got a bit of um background noise happening um so i am not going to be going through all these items that i've been using in the past two weeks i'll insert all the pictures that i took of my face I have been sick for the past two weeks, so I didn't take as Hello. many photos as I usually do, Hello, but I will show you still. Now, I did realize that I had, didn't have my mic on when I was picking some of my makeup. So some of it's a voiceover, some of it's not a voiceover, but you'll, you'll figure that out. <laughs> so I'm going to insert some pictures and then we're just going to transition into the new makeup that I choose. So thanks for um, understanding. It's going to be a, a much shorter uh, video. I am keeping the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer, you can see. And I have kept the Il Masca highlighter and the Hourglass primer to put in the next rotation just because I didn't wear a ton of makeup. So I'm going to leave it here um, because I, I don't, I'm still a bit sick so I don't have the energy to do voiceover for everything. Thanks for understanding guys. Okay, so here we are deciding between two primers. I think I'm going to go with the um, Distiller, the One Step. This is the illuminating one. It's a really nice, uh, I would say, primer before illuminator. It's got a really nice silicon feel to it, and there's a slight glowy tint to it and it's very very pretty and I haven't used this one in a while so I'm going to pop that one in. Next we have my loose setting powder. I think I'm going to go with this Bare Minerals Mineral Veil. This is oh. the original one. It's a pinky tone which I like but it's more on the darker side so I want to play with this a little bit more and get my thoughts on it. This is just a mini version. Oh. And now we're looking for a pressed powder. I was thinking of getting this Bare Minerals Pro but I think it's going to be a little bit too full coverage. So I think I'm going to go with this Dior No Powder Powder. I have the shade Zero Neutral. And it's going to be really nice because my loose powder is a little bit darker. This is the perfect shade match for me. Okay, here we have my full to medium, medium to full coverage and then light to medium foundations. I'm definitely going to put in this Rose Ink Tinted Serum. I've only used this once on camera, so I'm keen to try this for the next two weeks. And I have the shade 020. And this is a really good shade match for me. And it's, it looks really nice on the skin. So I'll just give you a little swatch. So you can just see how beautiful and glowy and perfectly matched that is for my skin tone. Okay, I'm choosing between the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear and the Ciate Extraordinary Foundation. I think I'm going to go with the Ciate because um, I haven't used it in a while and I absolutely love it. It is perfect for most skin types. I would say if you're really oily, you won't love it, but every other skin type should love this. It's definitely medium to full coverage and it's just, it's, it's an all-rounder in my opinion. I have the shade 101N and yeah let's put that one in concealer i think i'm going to go with this nude sticks cream concealer i have the shade nude one and i love this it's more lightweight which is going to go well with my law more lightweight foundations and it's just a really nice light to medium coverage and the next concealer i'm going to pick is the I think I'm going for the NYX, yes. <laughs> That's the shade Fair, but I want the shade Light, which is my newest one because the Fair is too too fair. So I bought the shade Light and it's just a perfect match for me and I love this concealer. It's a really nice concealer. Um, it definitely has that beautiful serum texture, uh, but has still good coverage. Here you can see the coverage and the texture. It's just beautiful. I really, really like this concealer. Okay, face palettes. I have a brand new face palette from Natasha Denona. This is the Love palette, Love Cheek palette. And I have the Duo, but this is the Quad. 
um, and this is brand new to me I bought it in the Sephora sale and I've only used it once on camera so I haven't used all of the products so here it is in its shining glory I cannot wait to play with this for the next two weeks let's give her a swatch so here are the swatches you cannot see that shade there um, I think it's more of a topper shade but I'm very excited to play with this such beautiful beautiful shades all right, so here we have my cream, bronzers, blushes, and highlighters. So with my face palette, I've got um, some nice shades here, but I think I want a matte bron uh, blush because these are all shimmery. So we're going to pick out a matte blush. <laughs> I was thinking about this Moira one as an option. It's a nice neutral tone as well. Um, but I have been wanting to bring in this NARS Claudette collection blush in for a long time and never had the right time and I think today's the right time so we're going to add that one in from the Claudette range for bronzer I'm contemplating bringing the Charlotte Tilbury in because it's winter time and I haven't used it much in the other seasons because it's so fair so I think I'm going to bring this in get some good use out of it even though I had it in not long ago um, because it's winter time and I'm extra pale at the moment now I'm not going to pick a highlighter because I have the Il Musca one that I kept from last rotation. So let's go over to the cream products. I think I wanted to pick out from memory, I'm trying to remember what I was doing, this contour wand from Made by Michelle. This is a hollow there shade, which is the fairest shade of contour. And you can see why when I swatch it. So this is definitely a winter only kind of product for me. And I haven't used it in a while. So I'm going to bring that one in. Um, which should be good with the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer because they're both fair, but one's cool tone and one's warm tone. So I think that'll even out nicely on my skin. I think I'm then going to go in with a blush from Made by Mitchell, like an actual blush shade. This is Can't Cope with Coral, which is the most beautiful shade. It's my favorite one. Isn't it gorgeous? I love it. It's very faint. No, it's not faint. It is faint, um, but it's just the most beautiful color. And then I'm going to pick a cream highlighter stick. This is from Rimmel, the glow stick in the shade Bold, which is the second shade. And it's really nice. It's translucent, but it's got a pink shift to it. And I haven't used it much, so I think that'll be perfect to put in for this rotation. I just realized I didn't have my mic on this whole time. Oh my God. All right, so I'm going to continue from here and then I'm going to have to do, redo some of it. And I'm going to voice over the first part. So I think I want to pick, I haven't used this one in a while. Oh, I did get some new cover pop too, didn't I? I did, I got these two. Maybe I'll just put those two new ones in from cover pop. That'll be nice and easy. So I got these two here. We have Mountain Lion which I thought would be a nice inner corner shade. Turns out, I think this will actually be a really nice highlighter too, because it's quite translucent. This one I have is called 2014, which I think was from their birthday collection, which is might've been when they launched 2014. Hey, they kind of just like blew up straight away. Should I throw this in? It's been a while. This is the Australis. Oh my God. You can't even see it anymore. Emerald. I forget what it was called. But it's so nice. I don't even think these exist anymore. I tried painting it, but it's just one of those shades that is so unique. You don't wear it all the time. But isn't it pretty? Australis. And it's really good quality. Love it. So don't ask me where to get this because I don't think they exist. If they do, you could check Priceline, but... Let's put in Rosie. This I have not put in. I got this one gifted from work. This is the shade 16. And it's a, not a colour I would normally pick, so... Like a very red, almost cherry. Yeah, I would say it's like a cherry red. Um, let's go... Seems that we got the other Claudette product. This is the NARS Claudette range. This is the sheer matte lipstick in Anaise, 
or a knee. I don't know. French don't always pronounce the last letter. Very nice. It's kind of like a velvet mat. I will pick a dark colour. Let's go uh, melt cat suit. A gloss. What gloss will we pick? Bring out my favourite. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to bring out this bad boy. Hey, it's been a while. Too Faced. Melted matte in Cool Girl, I think it is. Yeah. Hey, when I first got this, I didn't really like it. Uh, but now I really like it. <laughs> cool story. So we'll add that one in. And then, uh, then a gloss. It's not that ver there's not that much variety. Should I put in this flower flower beauty? Oh, what's that new one that I got? Ah. This one. This is the um L'Oreal Intense Volume Matte in Audace. I think I've got too much matte going on though, don't I? I've got a lot of matte. Oh, I'm gonna have to take something off. I'm going to take the liquid lipstick away and I'm going to add this L'Oreal colour because it's a nice warm colour just to have variety. This is the shade High on Craze. This is the colour Race Shine. So it's going to replace this one here. Yeah, I needed something shiny. Okay, yeah, let's do that. All right, let's pick some eyeshadows, huh? I'm going to do this very quickly. Because uh, I don't want to think about it too much. I want to put this one in from um, Odin's Eye. I've only used it once. This is the Vanandi eyesh mini eyeshadow palette. So nice. Um, I'm going to get a new super neutral. Um, I'm going to go Juvia's Place Torps. Because I really like the shades. Um... Let's go Fenty Beauty, Galaxy, I love this one. So old, but so good. And I'm gonna pick one more. Yeah, let's go by Terry, Terribly Paris. This is um, Paris by Light. Yeah, let's do that. Okay, let's do some swatches. This is a really nice versatile palette. I really like it. It's a little bit thick in formula, but I still like it. it still performs. Uh, the to topes, taupe, taupe. I just love those tones. They're so easy to wear, so soft and beautiful. And then the Galaxy. love this palette so beautiful all right so that is everything that i have for the fortnight thanks for bearing with me with this low quality video for getting the audio um hopefully my voiceover is not horrific <laughs> oh god i've just made my life so much harder okay thanks for watching guys i hopefully i'll get some nice looks hopefully i feel better and want to wear makeup again and thanks for watching i'll see you in my next video bye